A phantom limb is just like any other limb that you would feel, except it isn't actually there. Phantom sensations are feeling body parts, like arms or hands, that aren't on your body. This sounds crazy, and it kind of is, but 60-80% to 80 of people who have lost a limb report phantom feelings throughout their life, most of which are painful. And almost 100% of people report phantom sensations immediately after having lost a limb. So how does this happen? Well, first we have to understand how we normally feel things. Every body part is connected to specific neurons in the brain. When you detect a physical stimulus, when you're touched, that body part immediately sends a signal to its corresponding neurons in the brain. And when that signal is interpreted by the brain, that's when you actually feel the stimulus. But when you lose a limb, no sensation is given to this part of the brain anymore because there's no limb to be touched. It turns out that when neurons in the brain are really inactive for a long time, the neighboring regions want to expand and fill that void. So what happens next is a sort of reorganization of the brain's neural connections. The active regions that are being touched and stimulated literally start to take over the inactive regions. This process is called neuroplasticity, and until very recently most people assumed this wasn't possible, that our brains were permanently hardwired and unchangeable. But we now know that the connections are malleable. Plastic. Okay, so neighboring neurons have moved into that region, but now what? Let's assume we lost an arm, and the corresponding neurons in the brain eventually become inactive. We know that the neural region closest to this contains the face, so the face's neurons eventually move into the region that before stimulated the arm. This means that whenever certain parts of the face are touched, we would experience that sensation not just in our face, but in our phantom limb too. Here you can see a picture of scientists diagramming where parts of the hand and arm are on someone's face. And similarly, if someone lost only their lower arm, it's likely that the neurons of their upper arm would expand and start to feel that lower arm too. This theory, that experiencing phantom limbs is due to the reorganization of neural connections, is largely derived from the work of psychologist Vilayanur Ramachandran. And he also believes that every human has a neural template from birth, describing how the body is supposed to be connected to itself. He worked with one particular woman who had lost her hand in a car accident, but this woman was actually born with four fingers on the hand she lost. Despite this, Ramachandran was able to help her feel five phantom fingers even though she had only ever had four. That blows my mind. Now despite the explanation I just gave you, there is still debate over the exact reasons that phantom limbs are felt. Some argue that the reorganization of neurons isn't as important, or that it only explains why people experience pain and not normal sensation. Even Ramachandran says that while it may be an important component, we can't be sure that it is the only or most important reason. Another study found that injecting anesthesia into nerves found in our backs, not our brains, helped lighten phantom pain. Overall, this research is incomplete, and there is still much to learn. But I'm sure we'll keep discovering and understanding crazy, awesome things about our world. I'm Matt from the channel Conjecture, and thanks for watching. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. Except, wait. This isn't Vsauce, and this isn't Michael. But this is a parody. A parody is...